Who are you and what do you do for a living? Uh, my name is Bruce Campbell. I work for Wawa Transit uh, Services, City Bus. Uh, work in the repair shop, fix the buses. Can you tell us where you grew up? I grew up right here in Kailua. Um, my mom then moved to Kailua in 62. I was born in September 61. So I was a couple of months old when they moved over here. So how was life in Kailua when you were younger? Uh, life in Kailua was a lot different from what it is now. Uh, when we were small, it was a lot of kids in the neighborhood. Walk to school uh, barefoot. I don't think we, we had any slippers back then. Uh, families were pretty tight. Everybody knew everybody. It was, it was a lot different than now. Not as many fences, not as many walls. It was, it was a whole different time. So, were there any noble moments from your childhood that you still remember? Uh, when we were small, you know, it was uh, riding bike, playing, parties, uh, get-togethers. Yeah, all the get-togethers, somebody was always playing music. Uh, family would just gather around. Well, same, like, you know, everybody's drinking beers and poo-poos. And it, was a, it, was a, it was a different time, I guess, if you're... Young kid now, it probably be seem the same to you, the same perspective. The whole town was different. Uh, not as much pro progress in Kailua. Beach was wide open. Nobody was at the beach hardly. Uh, now it's just filled with tourists. Shopping centers. Everybody knew who you were. Everybody knew who your parents were. So you couldn't get away with too much. <laughs> How has Kailua changed since you were a kid? Uh, Kailua has changed immensely. A whole bunch of two-story houses now. Uh, big box stores. Uh, you know, Whole Foods. You got all kinds of stuff in Kailua now. Traffic. A whole lot of traffic. Mom and pop stores, not as much. But you still got some of the old things, you know. Time supermarket and stuff is probably about the only original thing around here. Tourism is huge in Kailua, and uh, I guess I guess uh, a lot of the old time families can't afford to live in Kailua, so you see a lot of mainland military. It's a different vibe in Kailua now. But you still, if you go down to the beach, I paddle a lot, so if you go down to the beach to paddle, all the paddlers, you see all the, you see all the familiar faces over there. So what were some, what were some hobbies of yours? Uh, when I was growing up, I used to do a lot of sports, uh, football mainly, uh, hobbies, we used to get together, play guitar, I used to, uh, Played a whole bunch of friends, ukulele, guitar. We used to have a lot of fun doing that. Um, it's either that or we were working out at the beach. And then uh, later on in life, I got I got into canoe paddling as a hobby. So uh, to this day, that's about the same hobbies I'm doing right now, <laughs> playing guitar and and uh, paddling canoes. So in high school, were you heavily pressured to go to college? Uh, back then, my dad wanted me to go to college, um, but my attitude back then was more happy-go-lucky. Figure I get a job, make money, you know. Um, I went to I went to college. Uh, my uh, uncle was a professor at a college in Michigan, a little community college. I went there for a semester. My dad had a heart attack while I was gone, so I decided to come back home instead of uh, continue college. And I never really did um, go 
go back. I wish I had. Um, started working, got into uh, doing body fender, painting trucks. And that's been my career ever since. Um, but I really regret not going to college. So, from that, how did you decide on a career job? Uh, I just, um, I was working a whole bunch of jobs. Um, when I first got out of, uh, when I first came back from the mainland, I started uh, delivering um, cold cuts and meats and stuff, vending. And then um, I got a job at uh, this place called k, &K Truck Painting. We are doing big trucks and cement mixers and tour buses. So I went in as a helper. And then over there, it's kind of easy to learn uh, to paint because a lot of equipment. So they'll, they'll throw a helper and paint and I picked it up real fast. And it just, I just started doing that until I worked at another shop, uh, and that shop went, went out of business. From there, I went to uh, construction, working for oil contracting as a laborer. So I did that for about three, four years, and then decided to go back to Body Fender. There's an opening at the bus. I got that, and then ever since then, I've been there for the last 29 years. Now, go, going back a little bit, how was life in your household? Uh, life in our household, um, well, I had mom and dad, I had um, two sisters, three brothers. Um, I'm number five of six. Dad worked for Ironworks. Mom, she was a cook for a restaurant in Waikiki called uh, Perry Boy Smorgies. So when she was working um, and we were growing up, my two sisters were more in charge of me, um, being a smaller one. So they kind of they bought me up, taught me how to fold my clothes and brush my teeth and do all that kind of stuff, do our chores. And we always had chores. Uh, me and my brother used to mostly clean the yard and scrub toilets, wash dishes. Everybody, everybody pitched in, uh, and it was that's how it was, you know. Every once in a while, um, we go to a movies. I think we went to maybe maybe five or six movies that I really remember because. Um, we really didn't have that much money, but um, my mom made do. She cooked every meal. Uh, we didn't go out to eat at McDonald's or restaurants or anything. Everything was my mom cooked or we cooked. You know, um, it was a, it was good though. The household was good. Everybody got along. Um, yes, yeah. didn't cause any trouble. Uh, between the siblings, there's a whole <laughs> lot of stories, but <laughs> but you know this is just part of growing up, yeah. Uh, but that made us closer. Um, my older brother, he's uh, he's like um, say 14 years older than me, so we always kind of looked up to him, you know, he's a big brother and. Later on, he um, got into the police station, police department, and we always did look up to him, as you know, because he's the oldest guy. I used to look up to my, my brother, Billy. He was two years older than me. And it seemed like I was always, I was always in his shadow because he was always the older brother, yeah? So you go to school, oh, well, you're Billy's younger brother. So, you know, I always had that tag. And um, then I had my youngest brother, Matt, who was uh, six years younger than me. So he was kind of like, you know, kind of like on his own because there's no real close sibling to him, yeah? So, so he liked, uh, he got into music and stuff. He likes, he wasn't uh, sports inclined like me and my other, my other brothers. And uh, 
Yeah, you know, we, we all ate dinner at the table. We didn't go to church as much as some families do. Yeah, that's about it. You know, in the, in the household, it was it was pretty, um, how would you say, pretty normal as, as far as a family structure goes, you know. Wake up in the morning, go to school, come home, do your chores, do your homework, mom cooks dinner, take a bath, kiss mom goodnight, and that's it. <laughs> so pretty normal then. Pretty normal. Right. So going from your upbringing, uh, how did you decide how to raise me and Bailey? Uh, raising you two guys? Uh, I try to remember all the things that I couldn't get and I didn't have, and I try to get that for you guys. Um, all the all the things that I wish uh, people help me out with and um, and help that I couldn't get. I always I always kept that in mind. Uh, when I was bringing you guys up. Um, try not to do some of the, the, the things that were negative, although there's times where it got negative and yell at you guys and stuff like that, but I always kept it in mind to try not to do that. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I try to remember back on things that, that um, had a negative effect on me and I try to try to not bring that into your guys' lives as much as I could. And I don't know, you you and your brother, you guys turned out pretty good. I'm kind of proud of you guys, what you guys got through, and what you guys doing now. You know, and I still hope for the, you know, you guys to succeed in life, strive, strive to be better every time.